Hello there guys, so we are going to connect a uh, regular truck with the trailer and so first off what you're going to do is of course back up towards the trailer and I've, I've parked it so nobody's going to block my way when I back up uh, if you park it if you park the trailer like in a parking lot, there's a big chance uh, some uh, people may not understand that there's a truck coming to get that trailer, so they park in front of it, so then you're pretty much screwed and you have to wait for them to move their cars. Um, and also what you want to make sure is just don't back up too close at first back up pretty close and it helps a lot if you have a reverse camera if you see here and clean mirrors so what I'm gonna do now is also I'm gonna lower the buggy uh, this little thing here which I have two rear axles so one of the rear axle is uh, is uh, uh, increase the height on it because I don't have any load at the moment so then you might as well increase it to make it you know it turns easier and stuff uh, so I want to lower that to get the same height that I had earlier and uh, of course there's a lot of rules on what trailer you can connect and you can drive with what truck uh, but uh, that's already been taken care of in this case, so I can drive this this trailer. So I'm just gonna back up now, and then we're gonna step outside. I'm gonna try to check in each mirror here, so I hide the wheels or make them equally, and I want to be in the same line. Of course, you can connect it sideways, but that's harder. Here you can see the hook now coming up. You you look there so this reverse camera helps a lot so you don't back up too close and break stuff so it seems pretty good uh, I'm gonna ba back up a little bit more and there we go now we're really close and it's easy to see when we're outside so I'm just gonna put on my hat and uh, never forget your parking brake and here you can see the hook by the way which is uh, now closed if it's green here and red there it means closed uh, Red usually means locked and that's closed so it's done. So I had to go out outside and open it up and check the height and everything and then we can back up and then we go outside again and we connect the cables. Alright. Okay so here we are now outside the truck and I forgot to switch off this uh, thermal thingy because I don't have any load inside the trailer now. And as you can see, the height is perfect, but it's uh, it's uh, it's not straight. So yeah, and there's the camera. You see, so I need to like either turn it like straight and just hope for the best, or I reverse again. It's hard to see. I didn't I didn't see these real wheels. You want to see the, that real wheel and that real wheel in the uh, side mirrors. Uh, so yeah, anyway, now we're going to open up the hook, you go here, and you press down on that thing, and it goes up, and now it's open all the time, so we want it to close again. You want it to close as soon as something goes in there, if you put your hand in there, you're gonna lose it. So when that goes in, the hook goes down. Okay then. It's gonna be interesting because I'm a little bit off here now. Side, but I'm gonna take a wild guess and hopefully. Oh, okay, there we go. The... Okay, so now you can feel that the hook is down, it's connected, but this hook. Uh, light still it says locked it should be on the green one as well that means it's fully down but it's okay 
it's fine so now we're gonna step out all right here we are so now we're gonna release the parking brake because that you well, uh, that's the red one and you want to always release that one and if you check here the pin is uh, not down at all because this red thingy here should be all the way in so what you can do now is actually the trick you can connect this one and be sure to hold your ears when releasing this but now we're going to connect it so it's okay so you push this lever and you put it in like that there you go and you can hear the brakes releasing we're gonna leave these ones yeah we're gonna connect these ones too actually because in case it works we don't have to step out again Connecting this cable, a little trick is to hold there, push. Make sure you connect all the cables. This is for ABS, this is for your lights, this is for something else, I don't know what, but this is for the braking system. So, they're nice and tight. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn to the left, that will make it push that there. Okay, so here we are back in the truck now. I'm gonna put it into drive there, release the parking brake, turn on the monitor so we see what's going on. And I'm gonna turn to the left. And there we go. Just give it a little bit of gas and the light turned green. And uh, basically, as you can see now, we're good to go. So. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you how to disconnect uh, the truck from uh, the trailer or the trailer from the truck so you can basically start off here with any cable just pull it apart this one can be a little bit rough and when you connect it you can make a trick you put your hand like that and it will go easier inside got that one and this is for the air for the brakes oh shit always get me deaf uh, just put these, I mean, should be put like this, so, and if it's raining, make sure this one is protected, and if it's snowy, make sure there's no, doesn't get snow in there and freeze, and now we're just gonna raise up this little thing here, and then we got this VBG, so we do that. Check that it's gone up. Yes, you see the by the red dot there. And then back down. So it will go down again once we start going. Because it will have pressure on that pin and the pin will go down before we or after we leave. So now you just gotta drive forward and uh, then you're basically good to go. Make sure you put uh, the parking brake on here it's brake now but push to be sure you put the parking brake and you can put a let me show you you can put one of these so there's like no way it will roll all right so that's basically how you do it hope you enjoyed the video Please leave a comment and like and subscribe. See you guys later.